In our work, we propose an imitation learning framework for joint training of a teacher and student policy. Reinforcement learning has been applied successfully in several domains. However, RL usually requires extensive exploration. To mitigate extensive exploration, imitation learning with a privileged teacher has proven effective for learning complex control behaviors. Nevertheless, privileged imitation learning faces a key challenge. The student might be unable to imitate the teacher's behavior due to partial observability. To address this teacher-student asymmetry, we propose a framework for joint training of the teacher and student policies. In our framework, the teacher is encouraged to learn behaviors that can be imitated by the student, despite the limited access to information and partial observability of the student. Crucially, we add the imitation upper bound between teacher and student performance to the teacher objective. This upper bound can be expressed by the expected action difference between student and teacher under the state distribution of the expert. Following the classical policy gradient to obtain the optimal policy, we take the gradient with respect to the teacher parameters. As can be observed, we end up with the standard policy gradient optimizing the task reward while also considering the teacher-student misalignment. The KL divergence inside the policy gradient can be interpreted as a reward encouraging the teacher policy to visit states where the student and teacher are aligned and avoid states with a large misalignment. The second KL divergence represents a direct supervision on the teacher weights by enforcing the prediction of the same action distribution as the student. Building on this formulation, our method consists of three different networks, the teacher network FT, the student network FS, and the proxy student network FS hat, which all share the same action decoder network A. Additionally, our proposed framework consists of three alternating training phases. In the standard rollout phase, we add the penalty term computed based on the action difference between the teacher and the proxy student to the reward computation. During the policy update phase, we can update the teacher weights in a single backward pass through the loss combining the RL objective and the KL divergence term computed on the collected teacher experiences. In the alignment phase, the features across the encoders of the teacher, proxy student, and student are aligned. This phase is the only one that requires paired teacher and student observations. We first test our method on a maze navigation task in a tabular setting. The objective of the agent is to reach the goal, visualized as the green cell, from the gray starting point. The episode ends if the agent steps into lava visualized as red cells. The teacher can observe the type of neighboring cells, while the student cannot distinguish between blue path cells and lava, which leads to a teacher-student asymmetry. By using our framework, the teacher policy receives a penalty for visiting states where the student is unable to predict the same action, which happens inside the maze. Thus, the teacher learns to avoid the maze and navigates around to reach the target. This behavior is successfully imitated by the student, who reaches the target in all test runs, unlike all other baselines. Additionally, we evaluate our approach on the complex task of agile quadrotor control, in which a quadrotor needs to follow a constant velocity command while avoiding obstacles. The teacher policy receives the relative distance to each obstacle. In contrast, the vision-based student policy replaces obstacle positions with inputs from an RGB camera with a limited field of view. As can be seen in the table, our approach with alignment achieves the highest success rate with 0.46. If we look at the student rollout trajectories, we observe that the policy learned through our approach adjusts the viewing direction during flight to align with the velocity direction. This ensures that all encountered obstacles are visible in the camera's field of view. For the final task, we evaluate our method on a complex vision-based manipulation scenario, where a robot arm learns to open a drawer. The teacher receives the relative position between the gripper and the drawer handle, whereas the student needs to infer the relative position based on an image. The results show that our method with alignment improves success rates by 17% compared to the non-aligned framework. Moreover, as can be seen in the visualized student rollouts, the student and teacher learn to keep the red handle visible right before the gripper touches it. In conclusion, we believe that our framework extends privileged imitation learning to various modalities with large information gaps, unlocking the potential to tackle complex real-world tasks in robotics. If you are interested, please check out our project website.